before I go out tonight, I got one more pen that I got. And I've never heard of this pen. I've never heard of this pen. It's another fountain pen. Um, so this makes number two in my thing. It's a refillable one. It's called Parker. Have you heard of Parker? It's M for medium. Let's actually get closer up in here. M for medium, they're refillable, and it's fountain pen style. Jotter London, I don't really know what that means. I'm gonna assume this is British because of the colors, but I feel I've seen these like at banks, at churches as well. Like this is, just gives me like one of those church pen vibes. Again, let's see what it says on the back. Is there anything exciting? Well, I gotta focus in to see if there's anything exciting. Medium stainless steel nib, erasable and washable blue ink. Two-year warranty, huh. Well, let's just open this up, if I can focus in on it. Let's open this up. I think we should find out what this thing is all about. Well, I'm gonna focus in on it first. And then I'm gonna find out what this is all about. Okay, so. That was easy. That was easy. Some reason it doesn't want to come out it like wants me to completely destroy the box heavens again with the velvet one single charge but the uh, rechargeable cartridge is that what i'd call it i'm guessing i put the pen in this way but one char one cartridge and let's see what about the weight of this <sighs> they really want you to destroy this thing so far not really impressed this is light But I'm going to say they're about the same um, weight as these big gelosity pens. A, a hair tinier, or like a hair heavier, but not that much. Barely noticeable. You'd have to be looking at it. In terms of designs, this is just, this is straightforward brushed steel pen. It, it kind of makes me wonder, like, why would you go to the effort to make such a mediocre fountain pen, or just a mediocre pen altogether? Like, let's zoom in, see what there's anything on designs. Just says Parker on it, three arrows. Like, since I'm not even impressed, I don't even really care to look up the history of something like this. I'm gonna have to look, see if there's at least any better looking Parker pens, but so far, if you want mediocrity, the Parker pen is here for you. So. Let's just open it up. Like, I'm sorry, but I feel like I'm yawning through this one because it is so boring. I'm going to assume I'm putting this top way through here. So, nope. Or maybe. Should I read the instructions? Yep, that's the right way. I was doing it the right way. Whoops. Ooh, and it runs. Look at that. I'm already getting myself all messy. Okay. After it's in. Okay, well. That's that's kind of that's kind of it, really, man. Wow, am I not excited about this one? But I feel I have seen this before. Maybe at a bank. Have I seen this at a bank? I gotta remember, these are just pull-offs. Let's get out our trusty paper. Let's start writing with it. This was my first one, my first fountain pen, if you remember. This one was good. Let's zoom in. Let's focus. Let's bring it down. And away we go with this type of pen. Let's see how it works out. <laughs> mm. This is a par Parker fountain pen. This is a Parker fountain pen. 
nothing but average over here. It's writing a light blue, which is not bad. It's writing a light blue, and it is just okay. I'm just going to put like a, that emoji like that, because that's really how I feel with this. You know, even with all of the other gel pens, um, the big ones, even the G2 one, like the G2 ones didn't wow me, but like, I guess now that I'm going to get into more fountain pens, I think I want just a better quality feel in my hands and something that's just going to be better to hold. But as I write with this and I see the ink dry, it, it dries a, a, light, a lighter blue, but still not a blue that's going to be all exciting, right? So let me see if I can make a square. I do my patent in square. I'm not even going to try coloring in, in the lines properly, but... Um, when it comes to this kind of thing, like the, the ink, when I look at it here, is it, it's drying okay. Let me see if I dry, quick dry. Yeah, you're gonna have to let this dry for a bit. So no long writing, a signature probably at the most if you're at a desk. So definitely not in a doctor's office. You're always, when you're, if you're in like a doctor's office or someplace that's on the go construction site, you'll never want a fountain pen. I think you guys know better than that. You're just going to want something cheap and then durable. That's where Bic shines. Like they're the very, they're, like I said before, they're really familiar. Um, but if you want to have a little bit, show a little bit more class, a little bit more professionalism in the writing that you do. Guess what guys? My, <laughs> my, my camera's battery died. So I don't even know where I was talking. Um, I think I was like, saying how this, more than that, this was just technically proficient. It just hits all the notes of mediocrity. Um, and I just get the vibes of the, you, when you go to a bank and they have those pens that are tied to the chains. Or when you're at the airport traveling internationally and you have to unhook. And you have to, like, not unhook. You have to write those um, forms out saying, like, are you carrying any farm animals? Like, who is smuggling farm animals in this day and age? But anyways, you know those cards and they have those pens. That's what this thing screams when I look at it. I guess when you want to write something, you want to have something that you admire in your hands. And unfortunately, I'm just not wowed by this. Um, I will put the link in the description if somebody actually wants to buy this. Hey, maybe there are people that like fountain pens and they just want to be as plain as possible. Because that's what this is. Sue per plane. But, um, I hate to imagine what the refill cartridge prices are. Something like this. So there were different other Parker ones that I could have gotten, but they were just different color variants. They were nothing special. And this one just, just I just picked one up and then just kept it moving. But I guess if we open this now, let's see how much ink I've used so far. My goodness. So I th I'm going to think this is a trend with fountain pens. Let me focus in. I've used quite a bit already, see? So this can't even be an everyday pen. I really want to get um, into the pens where you have the bottles of ink and see how those work out. But again, those are another videos down the road. There are, there are different videos down the road. I definitely will be doing them. But look at this. Excuse me. Don't want to be all rude on my newly created pen channel with all my exciting videos of pens. Wow, I'm thinking writing like this way is much faster. But this one is making my paper turn, but it's not making my, tur my paper turn as much. Um, I think maybe because the pen ink is a little bit heavier. Well, now it is. But beforehand, it wasn't doing such a thing. But look at this thing go. So, you know what? Let's wrap this up. I want to put a pen in it. And then um, I want to just say I'm giving this a solid 
4 out of 10. The 4 out of 10 is because there's no wow factor. This is, like I said before, it's technically proficient. It's going to get the job done if that's what you want. But, like, if you have to make um, an example of what type of emoji this would represent, this pen would represent, this one. Or the... You know which one I'm talking about, the meh. I'm, <laughs> now I'm writing weird. I think I'm just all tired from just writing with this boring, boring pen. So, you know what? Sorry, guys, this couldn't be more interesting. Um, I don't know why you'd want to get something that's not going to excite you. But if you want, link's in the description below of where you can buy it.